Hi, and welcome to question three of the 2022 paper two for the Leave Cert Ordinary Level Maths. If you want a copy of the notes I'm working on, please send an email to shanetroy at gmail.com. And as always, like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. So question three here, it looks like uh, statistics. Uh, it says a list of seven numbers is shown below. We see them here and there is seven, okay. Part one then says, find the mean of these seven numbers, correct one decimal place. So this isn't a table, it's just the mean of a simple set of data. And the formula for that is the mean is equal to the sum of the data divided by the number of data points. Now I'm not even going to bother trying to write out, my writing's terrible. Um, so I'm adding the 17 plus the eight plus the nine, plus the eight, plus the 14, plus the 11, plus the 28, and dividing by the seven numbers. So I put that to the calculator and I got 13.57. The question then says to round to one decimal place, the seven is the digit prior is greater than five, so the number before it rounds up by one to give me 13.6. Now the second part then says, find the median of these seven numbers. So to find the median, we should write the numbers in increasing order. So it's very easy to make a mistake here, but I should, as I should in the part one, have shown my work. So if I do make an error based on um, a misread, I may qualify for better marks. So the eight is used up, the eight, and the nine, the next is the 11, and then the, if you use that up, the 14, okay, the 17, and then the 28. So I've used up all seven numbers are ticked. So the median is the middle value. So there's seven. So if there's seven, an odd number, it should be a definite middle number. Even though these are double digits that look like more, there's three numbers above, three numbers below. So 11 is my median. Now part three then says, one more number is added to the list. Okay. The new median is 10.5. So it's, it's going in this direction. Find the number that was added to the list. Now, if you think about it, if if it was like six, the median would be halfway between nine and eleven, which would be ten. So it's not a different number. It kind of has to be. If I write the machine, well, I'll use the answer. It has to be a ten, because ten plus eleven. If there's an even numbered list, you have to get the the mean, or for lack of a better word, the average, the mean of the two middle numbers, which is 10 plus 11, gives you 10.5. So there's a bit of a deduction there um, with what it should be. You kind of, it's a different thought process than just a calculation. Part one and two are fairly handy, and again, you should show your work. So even if you do make an error in the calculator or an error in transcribing the list, the, you, your, the penalty won't be great, okay? Um, whereas this last one here could be very tricky for some, um, myself included. Now, part B here says, Ben has to choose three subjects to study. He must pick one subject from each of these three groups. So either French or Spanish or German, and either physics, chemistry, biology or business. And, and the important word there I keep saying is, and. Now, in statistics or probability, whatever way you want to call it, if you can deduce that the question is and, and, means multiply. So whatever we end up here, that's what we're probably going to have to do. Although I should read the question. Part one says, how many different choices of three subjects can Ben make? So he has three choices and means multiply, four choices and is it five, five choices. Now four fives is 20 times three is 60. He has 60 choices. Okay, that seems legit. So the trick there is realizing that it's the and scenario. And if you can figure out which, if it's the or scenario, you add. If it's the and scenario, you multiply. Now part two here says, the school is going to add one extra subject to one of these groups, A, B, or C. Which group should the extra subject be added to in order to make the number of different choices of three subjects that Ben can make as large as possible? So let's do for each one. 
So if I add one to group A, I'm going to end up with four by four by five. Okay, if I make a, a change to group B, I'm going to end up with three by five by five. If I make a change to group C, I'm going to end up with three by four by six. So which of them is biggest? Well, four fives is 20. Uh, 20 times four is 80 choices. Now five by five is 25 by three is 75. And then four sixes, actually three fours is 12 by six. Uh, two sixes is 18, 78. I probably should use a calculator. So we should add to group A. That'll give me the biggest number of choices. Actually quite a lot of marks there. Just notice 10 marks for that, which is quite a chunk of marks. Um, and I suppose if you follow through and read the question, and this is a flaw I have. I often read a question once and go, right, let's get stuck in, let's get started. Okay, And then I might never realise, or I might realise after, when I look at the answer, that I've, what have I done wrong? And it's because I didn't read the question carefully. And I have often had to read questions multiple times, embarrassing number of times. But so be it. Okay, I, you know, it's, it's just underlining it, taking out important information, trying to get your head around the complexity of the words. It's a challenge, you know, and one that the only way to do it is, is practice helps, but taking time. And that's where I fall down in that. I get stuck in and just start doing stuff. Now, I think that's the end of question three. Um, so as always, if you want to copy the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. Please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. Okay, thank you, and see you in question four.